Hey guys, my name is Zori, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Epson V600 scanner to scan your black and white negatives and your color negatives. So let's hop right into the video. So starting off, this uh, scanner, it's $2.95 on Amazon through the Epson store, but then on B&H Photo, it's $249 brand new, so I recommend getting it through B&H Photo. Okay, before we start scanning our negatives, here are some things you'll need that'll help the process of scanning your negatives. So starting off, you'll need some kind of binder and film sleeves. And what the film sleeves do is protect your negatives from getting scratches and dust all over them and just protecting them overall. Next, you'll need some kind of computer that'll accept the uh, software. And then once you have your computer, you need some external hard drives to store all the files and then some scissors to actually cut the negatives. A lot of people call this a different name, but it's a dust blower, just gets dust off of your negatives and your film scanner. Also, you'll need a Sharpie so you can properly label your film sleeves and just stay organized overall and be able to find your what you're looking for when you're flipping through your binder of film. <laughs> okay, so right here, I'm just getting the negatives out. The place I go to, they roll the film, which I'm not a big fan of, but hopefully soon I can start developing myself here at home. You just wanna be careful not to touch the actual uh, frame where the photo is and just have clean hands. Some people wear gloves, some people don't, but just make sure your hands are clean. So I like to cut every four to five frames of, uh, of the negative and then I'll slide that into the film sleeve very carefully, touching the edge of the negative, not touching the actual photo part um, to prevent fingerprints and dust and scratches, you know, like I mentioned earlier and the purpose of the film sleeves, you know, protecting the negative. So next, I'm just blowing some extra dust off of the negative and putting it into the film holder very carefully. And then we're snapping that in place. You'll hear a click. So right here, I'm making sure the negatives are secure and in place in the film holder. And now, after I did my extra checks, I'm just blowing extra dust off of the negatives once again. And now to do the scanner itself to prevent extra dust from popping up on our scans. And once the film holder is in place on the scan, we open Epson Scan software and switch the mode to photo mode document source to transparency unit, the document type to black and white negative film, and then we put it on 16-bit grayscale and then 2400 DPI and then high quality for our scans. And then you want to save your, uh, your scans to a designated area or folder so you know where they are when they're finished scanning. And here are my scans scanning <laughs> and um, it takes a while to actually scan a lot of photos like I chose to do nine here but you know you have to have patience doing this but it's worth the wait so once your scans are done scanning your photos will pop up wherever you save them to on your desktop or your folder on your hard drive and you'll be able to look through them here are some black and white images I've personally scanned. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the black and white photos. Now let's move on to scanning color negatives. So here I'm doing the same process as before with the black and white ones. I think I'm doing a cine still film right here. But yeah, same process, cutting, blowing the dust off and putting them into the film sleeves until we put them into the film holder. Now we're putting them in the film holder and like I mentioned before, the place I go to curls the film, which I'm not a big fan of, so I, I had to start put, doing one at a time, so it took a little longer. <laughs> but you know, patience is key. 
So we're just blowing the dust off again of the negative and the scanner. And then we go into Epson scan. So now we're in Epson scan. It's basically the same process, only a few things are different. So you want to click on photo mode again and transparency unit as well. And then this time we're going to click color negative film since that's what we're using. And then 48 bit color for image type and then resolution 2400 again and scanning quality. Um, I clearly forgot to put it here, but you want to put that on high as well and then save it to another location or the same location or save it to somewhere you'll be able to find it and organize it. And once that's done scanning, you'll have your photos. Okay guys, that is it for this video. This is how I personally like to use the Epson V600 scanner to scan my black and white negatives and color negatives. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.